G'day Starlo here. I'm back on one of my favourite inland waterways. This is Windermere Dam near Mudgee in central western New South Wales. Arguably our trophy golden perch fishery in all of Australia. Produces more and bigger yellow belly than just about any other waterway that I can name. But it's a couple of years since I've been able to get up here with COVID and everything else and things have really changed. This dam's been low for many many years. When I first started fishing it way back in 1989 it was 100% full and it was full for those first couple of years that I fished it and then over time it fell and it fell and I fished it as low as in the 22-23% range and a lot through the 30s and 40s well now it's back up over 80% and it's flooded all the margins it's going to be a whole different body of water I'm going to have to learn all over again I think where the fish are and what they're doing let's see if we can find some with the water having risen relatively quickly this year after being low for decades, the edges are characterised by inundated vegetation. Water's also flowed into places it hasn't been for years, such as the cut-through under the road at Limestone Creek. This opens up all sorts of opportunities and new areas to fish, but you need to be extra mindful of newly submerged hazards, such as fence lines. Take it easy. When I visited in late September, the water was still a chilly 13 or 14 degrees and dirty in places because of the inflow, but it should settle and warm quickly, triggering a great spring bite. As always, there are a number of options for catching goldens at Windermere, from hopping and dragging vibes in slightly deeper water beyond the drowned vegetation, to grubbing the trees and shaking plastics right up shallow in the margins, not to mention throwing hard bodies. All these strategies plus others will work. We found a few fish but it was pretty tough going. I reckon things will improve dramatically as the water warms. If you want to take a really deep dive into all the subtleties and nuances of catching yellows in dams with a special emphasis on Windermere, I've written an entire 100 page ebook on the subject. You'll find the link to it in the description and the comments below this video. It really is worth a look. I'd also strongly recommend that you check out the video I made with Windermere gun Glenn Stewie Stewart a little while back. The techniques that he showcases for working plastics in mid-water above the vegetation are absolutely spot on for catching fish under the current conditions. You'll find a link to that video in the description and comments under this one as well. I have a hunch the 2022-23 season will be a good one for Goldens at Windermere, so make sure you're up to speed with the most productive techniques and be flexible if you need to switch strategies to catch them. Until next time, this is Starlo wishing you tight lines.